Hi everyone, I'm Cool as Ice Makeup, and I'm gonna do a Pennywise makeup tutorial for it gets started. I did my white base best I could using cream makeup and my left eye off camera. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be all drugs for affordable, so please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And that's your chat. Let's get started. This is part of my character inspired makeup series. And my Halloween makeup series, Pennywise made his first appearance in Stephen Kitt's Stephen King's It novel in 1986. The TV movie starring Tim Curry came out in 1990, and then 27 years later, a full-length It movie came out. I'm doing the 2017 Pennywise makeup that you guys know. On to the makeup for a primer. I took to heart. Can anyone you know Joe? And anybody first try for getting to my left eye? The palette that I'm using is Makeup Revolution X Terry Tropical Carpal Pot. I'm taking Trenin Jab Jab Spice Rum and Nothing Hill today. The brushes I'm using are two. For best top, a crease brush, a lower lash line brush, and like a flat shader brush to prevent staining. And just to let you know, I'm in a different setup. I'm still in my room, but my bed is near the window. And my makeup table is like near my door entrance. I just wanted to let you know. My mom did that last night. We arranged my room. To prevent any staining, I'm taking Wet n Wild Brulee Eyeshadow. The brush I'm using is the Equal Tools Blurring Brush. Any eyeshadow that matches your skin tone will work. I'm going to remove this after I'm done filming this video. It's just for Halloween and fun. Only for crease. I'm taking Trident. The brush I'm using is the Best Taupe Precision Crease Brush. This will help represent the red part that Pennywise, the dancing clown, has. You'll float too. If you're watching me for the first time, or you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Cool as Ice. I'm named after the 1991 Vanilla Ice movie, and I've been making makeup videos for four years. I used to be an animator, but I stopped to focus on making makeup videos on YouTube. Once I have that pigment, I'm going to blend it. The car is beating out what up on my eyes. Blend, blend, blend. That looks good. I was originally going to do my hair in pigtails, but I was like, nah, I might as well keep my hair down. For the lower lash line, I'm taking Jab Jab, which is the most beautiful matte black. The brush I'm using is the best taupe small hour brush. Any angled brush or a small precise brush will do at home. We want black accents. Well, I typically don't go black on the bottom. Well, especially for the waterline because it isn't my cup of tea. It makes my eyes look smaller. But for the sake of this... Make the tutorial I must. Black is an essential for Pennywise or any clown makeup tutorial that you're going for. I'm going to blend it by taking the hand back. Remember, the lower lash line shade should be where your own lower lashes is. For one line, I'm taking Beauty One Way Black Eye Pencil, but any black eye liner will do at home. Ignore the cat scratches is for my kitten Luna. I swatch it on the back of my hand to make sure that it's pigmented enough, and unfortunately, it's not waterproof. And some gone on my nail, but that's okay. That looks good so far 
Bertolette, I'm taking Spiced Rum, which is a summer bright red. This will tie everything together. I'm just using my ring finger to get the most pigmentation. And I feel like for Makeup Revolution palettes, the shivers are on the dry side. It's just my opinion, but the mattes are beautiful and creamy and blendable. That looks good. For the inner corner, I'm taking Up and Hill, which is the bronze shade to bring a little likeness to the eyes. I get my mascara to this eye, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete. Off camera, I drew in that outline of the nose because I wasn't sure if it's going to mix with the white cream. Makeup, I'm using the Snazaru Face Paint Kit. I'm taking the bright red shade. And now I'm going to fill it in using the brush that's included with the kit. Just on the tip of the nose. Fond reference photos of Penny Pennywise from 2017. I'm referencing like the photos that I see online. And then do the lines that he has continuing all the way to his brows. This does not have to be perfect. And then do it on the other side. That looks good. So far, this does not have to be perfect whatsoever. For lip prep, I took Burt's Bees Ginger Lime Lip Balm, an old favorite of mine. And Lorola is in some favorites of lips and I've seen hundreds. Trap lips are not cute to line my lips. I'm taking Annabelle Cosmetics Lip Liner and Jerry. I'm going to start on my Cupid's bow. And then connect it where I drew the bright red lines. And then fill it in best you could. I need to sharpen this after I'm done filming this makeup tutorial. That's as close as I can for bright lipstick. For bright red lipstick, I'm taking Party City Red Lipstick, but any bright red lipstick will do at home. I feel like without lip liner, this red lipstick is sheer. But with red lip liner, it's perfect. Here is the completed Pennywise makeup tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments below. This does not have to be perfect. This is part of my Halloween makeup series. So stay tuned for more views and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.